Captain Keith, my friend, good to see you. What's going on, Nick? Another day yeah. doing, a, doing a Monday shuffle. What is this? Third this episode 13? Week 13, Voting Tips Live. Yes. I, I say that if for, for all those betting out there, we're definitely uh, – we definitely took the over on the over under. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. So I yeah, do, uh, in a week or so, but here we are, still here. Do anything cool over the weekend? Actually, uh, I actually had the weekend off and I got stuff caught up around the house. So just kind of doing things around there. How about you? I had a great weekend. Went with some 44 Aquila clients on a longboat key club moorings. Love right. it down there. You know, we talk about these trips from St. Pete and stuff. Sometimes, you know, I mean, you can do anything with the Intercoastal Waterway around here all the way down to Marco, even down at the Keys. But, you know, it's just it's an all-day trip. But I love Longboat Key Club. I really do. Just a little shout-out from St. Pete. It's between two and three hours, depending on the boat you're on. Leave after lunch. And it's just a great place, too. If you golf, they've got a great golf course. Cool yeah. barn, stuff like that, too. And it's just, it's just getting a hop jump to – to St. Armand Circle, and everything was pretty normal there, except for the fact that they didn't have the shuttles running. There's usually shuttles between the marina, right? The resort and St. Armand's, but but they didn't have the shuttles. So other than that, it was it was pretty normal. So how'd you I get down it. there? What you how'd you get down to the do an Uber or something? Yeah, we Uber. Plus, Alex met us down there and just drove us around with her car and stuff. So oh, okay, cool. It, it was a good time, but. That's uh, that's another option. That's still and, I, and from what I hear, South Seas is still up and running. Yep. So we'll probably get into get into some of that too when we get Carla on here in a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, before Carla comes on and and gives us a rundown on getaways, super excited about that. I have a couple questions from last week. First one's going to be, when do I replace the zinks on my boat? So I got with Bruce Laporta, our service manager here at. Marine Max in St. Pete, he was our guest a couple weeks ago, and and, and he, he gave me the answer of it's it, it really all depends. So your zincs, first of all, what are your zincs? They're a sacrificial metal. You're going to have them in a few different spots underneath your boat, whether it's you know on your shaft or, or it's on the hull itself, and, and they're going to get eaten away so your other metals don't get eaten away, you know, in salt water with it being corrosive. And it, it's going to depend on the situation. So – According to Bruce, he said when they're about 50% eaten away, that's when it's time to change them. You don't want to wait until the last minute. You know, question is, hey, how do I know when my zincs are getting eaten away? Well, your diver is going to be under there. They should be at least once a month this time of year. And they should be giving you a report of, hey, you know, does this zinc might need to be changed or whatever. And Or if not, then just ask them. And chances are they can probably do it themselves if they know what you're working with. Yep. So. So that's, so that's that. And we had one other question here, Keith, think, from Raphael from Florida. Yeah, he was. He had. He said he's having some issues, or not real certain on when he's, you know, anchoring at a beach, what to do for the tide, and you know, the the tide drop and ebb and flow and stuff. So, um, just a rule of thumb, you know, get your get your pull out, pull up, kind of to the beach and spin your boat around and get your bow pointed offshore. Um, you're going to drop your anchor down. Typically you want to have at least five foot of anchor road out for every foot of water that you're anchoring in and then start backing up towards the beach and then make sure that anchor gets set. And then what you'll do is just kind of start trimming your engines up and you can get back into, let's say waist deep water, depending on, you know, the size of our boat, the boat you're on, you know, typically, you know, we're looking at three foot drafts on most of our stuff. Um, get back in there close and then you just hop out with your stern anchor and walk it up to the beach. If the tide comes in and now it's going to be up over your head or over your, your neck and it's getting deep to get on the boat, hop on your boat and let out some more anchor line and you can just drag your boat up closer to the beach, um, vice versa. And then when the tide starts dropping, if you're worried about it bumping or anything, you can just carry that stern anchor out off the shore, stick it back in the, in the ground and then just, you know, pull your anchor line out, just, you know, move your boat out. But you can always adjust it, you know, back and forth. Yeah. Got, uh, got Gabriel Gonzalez watching from Uzbekistan. Thanks for joining, Gabriel. Got viewers all over the world, so. He's a world traveler. I think he was in, uh, where was he? He was in India, India last week. He was in India last week, and the week before that he was in Kazakhstan. So he's, he's a, <laughs> he's a, he's a I love man. that guy. 
I don't know, but thanks for watching, Gabriel. So, <laughs> with that being said, we have a special guest this week. It's been a while since we've had a special guest. We've got Carla, our regional marketing manager over on the other coast of Florida, and she's going to be talking all things getaways, how to prepare for a Marine Max getaway. So, so I think now is the point where, where she she she's going to be right there. Hello, hello, and good afternoon. Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. Hello, hello. Thanks for joining us. Oh, honored and happy to be here. Good deal. So today, today we're going to be talking about exactly Marine Max getaways, everything that's on there. First of all, what is a getaway in, in short? Wow. Uh, Marine Max getaway. Well, if you know anybody at Marine Max, you know we love spending time on the water with our family, with our friends, and other boaters. And that's why we created Marine Max Getaways, which is a series of customer events that create opportunities to explore the waters and form new friendships out on the water. Pretty much in a nutshell, that's a getaway, right? <laughs> yep, and those friendships, I mean, they last a lifetime. I mean, you know, We've done them, you know, somebody just goes on their first trip, right? And they meet somebody else. And then, you know, and the next thing you know, you know, then they're lifelong buddies. You know, you see them out at the islands or restaurants or, you know, stuff together. Absolutely. You know, I, I, I got engaged at the Aquila rendezvous last year for crying out loud. That's right. That's phenomenal. Wow. So Marine Max always talks about united by water, united by water. I, th I think that that's a, the number one thing that's talking about that is on these getaway trips that, that you know, regional coordinators start, such as Carla do a great job putting together. Thank you. Thank you. And, and you know, seeing, seeing as you were talking about friendships, um, I was talking to Abby uh, a while back on no matter how many times we hear this story, it's, it's listening to our customers and hearing how they made friends and lifelong friends, as Keith said, uh, with other customers, other Marine Max customers that they met on their first getaways. And eventually um, you see new moms and dads becoming parents and seeing their little ones grow up. And the following year, they just keep getting bigger and bigger and, and being able to introduce that boating lifestyle with others. That's a pretty priceless feeling right there. Absolutely. Absolutely. So one of the first questions that I have here is, so what are the benefits of going out of getaway? Everybody can put a trip together, but what I think that Marine Max does a great job of is, you know, kind of, it is. It's scary sometimes, you know, when, when you get a boat, you know, you'll kind of peek out into doing different things. And, you know, I think that the getaways do a great job of safety and numbers. I mean, the first time I went down to Captiva, South Seas, I, I don't think I would have been comfortable doing that trip alone. And you do a trip like that one time and that just, it adds another check onto something that you can do down the road after you do with a bunch of other people, you're traveling in a group and, you know, you're going to get the most out of, you know, exactly what you can do on your boat. Absolutely. And, you know, with busy work and home lives nowadays, there's a lot of Marine Max customers that they don't have the time to plan. So in comes Marine Max and here we go. We planned it out all for you. Here's your itinerary. These are your checklists. Bring these items and it could be as organized or or as uh, let's just let the lines loose and, and go out into open water and see where we end up and anchor off. But um, and everything in between. But um, others take advantage, like you said, Nick, of going places that they might have not have gone if it wasn't for going in a big group. The power of numbers, right? And and knowing that I have somebody that I'm going to be able to follow. There was this one time we were caravanning out over to to Bimini, and um, one of our customers' dinghy fell off, and the customer behind him scooped it up, picked it up, and ten minutes they were on their way continuing to, to cross the Gulf Stream. But um, like you said, there, there are a lot of benefits to attending Marine Max Getaways. I mean, yeah. no, I was just gonna say, just saying the word getaways just floods so many words into my brain from wonderful memories to 
family bonding or friends that become family and water sports and new places and adventures and confidence and open water and freedom, uh, life-changing experiences and living that lifestyle of the boating lifestyle. I, I think it's so cool too. Like you have your getaways that, you know, pretty much any Marine Max customers invited to, and then you'll have your owner's events too, which, you know, can even break it down even further. Like, you know, when you, when you get all the whaler owners together, the Aquila owners, the azimuth owners on that trip where they go all up and down the coast. I mean, just the, the, the ideas that get bounced off of each other is, I mean, I, I'm in sales and I learned something from the people that are using their boats. They're, they're, living on their boats sometimes and they're all kind of swapping these ideas and i think that's really special because you're, you're with you know people just like yourself for the most part absolutely absolutely and and knowing that you have a support system right knowing that marine max is going to support you in every step of the way we don't we don't just sell you boats and yachts we are here to that's when the adventure begins right once you've taken ownership of that boat now now what do we do where do we go and and empowering our customers with knowledge as to uh where to go how to utilize whatever level they may be in um and and listening to our customers needs and and supporting them and being part of the marine max family which is what it's about. Once you got that water gene, boy, I'll tell you, <laughs> it's a fun one. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's the whole package, you know, a new, new customer, new client comes in, you know, they're with their sales rep, you know, then they get handed off to the, the business office. It's going to get insurance for them and finance for them and, you know, get the best deal, get the best rates and go to work on all that stuff. And then the service team gets the boat and they're going to go and rig it and put it all together and make sure it's standing tall for you. And then I'm going to get my hands on them and all the other delivery captains throughout the country, right? We're going to train them. You know, everybody started out at one point, you know, with zero knowledge on, on boating, right? So you get them comfortable, you get them, you know, where they can dock the boat, run the boat, learn the electronics. And then it's like a kid when you're on training wheels, right? You ride down to the end of your road, you run into your street, then you go down to the end of the block, you know, then you kick them off and then you start exploring. Well, that's what the getaways then. So once I, they graduate from me, then, you know, it's like, okay, how am I going to get down to the keys or how am I going to go to, to Bimini or whatever? Well, that's where you've got, you know, the leading lady boat, the Marine Max boat, that's going to lead the charge and you file in. And then once you do it, you know, you've got your tracks turned on your chart plotter. You, you go there, you get to know the lay of the land. And then next thing you know, you know, you're off on your own. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and being able to access remote areas where it's pristine and quiet and you could just drop anchor and enjoy your own little sanctuary on board. Truly. Got a question coming in here from Anthony. We have customers asking about trailer boat getaways for the smaller boats, dayways, stopping, et cetera. So that, that actually led me into my next question, Keith. I, I know that, that, that you're probably the world's biggest fan of, the getaway coming up that's the scalloping getaway up in crystal river yeah i love it up there you know that water's crystal clear and you know hopefully there's some more scallops up there this year i've been getting better you know seeing better reports um but there's always something to do you know you get out you run out the river you go scalloping you come back then there's a bunch of springs up there but as far as customers with trailers yes so this year we're staying at uh, crystal river plantation resort and they've got a boat ramp right there on site. They've got 1,600 feet of seawall where you can tie your boat up next to. So you can put your boat in and out the same day or you can leave it in the water. Um, but the same thing, you know, so we got a lot of newbies, a lot of customers that, hey, this is going to be their first big adventure. So I'll be up there and the, we're going to have a little bit different kind of a docktail party because it's, you know, what's going on with the COVID uh, thing here. But with this getaway, everybody's going to be on their own boats and with their own family and, and we'll keep it safe and distant. And then, so, you know, run out and, and go do our thing. But um, there's also, you know, in years past, we've done trailer getaways, like up through the chain of lakes or go up through, you know, the run the river up to Jacksonville or, you know, just different things like that. And, you know, I mean, we've got what, 59 locations throughout the country. So, you know, I'm sure there's a ton of, you know, trailerable trips that, you know, the getaways the coordinators put on. 
Yeah, and it looks like right here, so where do you go on a getaway, okay? that I mean, I think that's kind of a general term. I mean, Carla, you put together a lot of trips, you know, for a lot of yacht owners and stuff like that, if I'm correct. Yes, yes. It's um, all, all parts of, of Florida, uh, up and down the East Coast and um, the Bahamas as well. Uh, Florida Keys is really interesting. We actually had a a great getaway take place down in the Keys and um, they went snorkeling off in Sombrero Reef and uh, discovered you know, discovered little fish and little critters and little creatures and being able to, to live and, and experience these things, uh, um, a mother and a father um, with their kids introducing them, their first little fins and scuba gear and not, well, not scuba gear, but their mask and snorkel and just go snorkeling around the reef. It was just priceless to see those little life-changing moments and families bonding together. Um, and we've also been to the Bahamas as well in, in Bimini where we had 70 boats caravanning over and um, enjoyed water sports one day with the with the sea bobs and go to the Sapona the other day and do scavenger hunts and uh, we like to incorporate a little bit of history where where we go so that our customers are, are learning about where we're going um, and and themed parties and all kinds of great platforms that create wonderful memories for our customers. Tell us a little bit about Lobster Bash. I got to know. That's something that, that I haven't been a part of yet, you know. Lobster Bash. Well, uh, we have customers. Everybody thinks Lobster Bash. What's that? Everybody thinks Lobster Bash when you hear Getaway. Getaway. Lobster. Wow. Well, it's, it's, you just get all these feelings, all these wonderful, positive feelings. And you have customers from the Miami's locations all the way up to Stewart, Pompano Beach, Ocean Reef, um, everything from a, whew, I'll, I'll say a, a 72 flybridge down to a 17 foot Boston Whaler with our lady customer um, who was just full throttle right behind <laughs> somebody's wake and making it through from from Florida to Bimini. I mean, that's commitment right there. Um, and everything in between, just all these boaters and coming together and um, having a wonderful time on their floating resorts, basically. <laughs> um, and we'll have uh, lobster feasts and the fireworks go off and themed events and uh, scavenger hunts and, and all kinds of fun, fun goodness that takes place over there. And also stateside too, you know, in our Florida Keys getaways, or it could be a, a day away, like you were mentioning the other day, a, a sandbar event. Um, really, it's just getting our customers out on the water and, and enjoying life. That's awesome. I mean, so, so one of the things we were talking about earlier, you know, about getting on the water, enjoying life is we're, you're literally creating a, a vessel to escape, you know, especially in right now, you know, we were talking about boating probably the only thing that looks the same right now as it did a year ago. I've said that a million times, you know, you, you go to a store, it's different, but you get on your boat and that's, a, I mean, that's exactly what you're providing with these getaways is a vessel for escape. A vessel of freedom. Kenny Chesney says it right, huh? <laughs> Yeah, good song. Indeed, indeed. Hey, so, Carl, who, who exactly can go on uh, a little, little, little bit of feedback there? Hold on. Where am I coming from? One thing, too, I'd like just to kind of mention, too, like, I mean, you have to tell Carl there's a wealth of information. All your local getaways, coordinators and stuff, if you know you're on your boat or you know you're planning your own trip and you want maybe want to go somewhere and you need to know like who do you need to talk to at, at this place or that place or whatever you know you guys are more than likely going to be able to give them a name of a dock master or you know suggest a restaurant or, or a marina to stay at and, and all that stuff not that you're going to go and plan their whole itinerary out for them individually you know i mean you get your hands full doing it you know for us but somebody needs a little bit of 
a little bit of help with something, you know, our clients, you know, are more than welcome to, you know, give you a call, give me a call, you know, Nick, whoever it is. I mean, anybody in the whole Marine Max family. Absolutely. And, and like we said earlier, we're here to support in every step of the way, whether um, I'm down here in the Southeast region, Jennifer Miller's over there in the West Coast, and she's my expert and my go-to for all things West Coast and Florida. Greta up in the Northeast and Deanna um, in, in the Carolinas. But uh, it's, it's an honor to be part of the Marine Max team and know that even internally, we have such a tremendous support system. And that just is a reflection of, of what kind of company we are and how we also support our customers and our team members too. So speaking of like supporting our customers and, and stuff and, and, you know, the, with the COVID thing, I mean, it's, it's, we do have to address it. I know you guys had a trip down to, you know, Faro Blanco. Um, how did you kind of overcome any of the, the kind of the obstacles with this pandemic that we've got going on right now? That's right. Well, Kyle, Tiffany and Captain Brock and, and Scott, all team members came together and, did it right. We took all the proper precautions. Everybody was socially distanced on their own boat. Um, but everybody gave everybody a grill, gave them some wine, some goodies, something to grill on that grill and um, came together and had our own uh, docktail party, if you will, uh, socially distanced. But everybody had a cook off. They were having a great time a little uh, camaraderie and competition in that cooking that was done and put on some good tunes and, and it's what it's all about. Enjoying the moment, being out on the water, going out on the reef. They came back from being on the reef for whatever adventure that they went on on that day and came back and to their um, today's day and age docktail party, right? With the times that we're in, but with all the proper precautions and, uh, socially distanced, but uh, having a good time. And I think people need getaways now more than ever. Oh, you say amen to that. <laughs> right? Yep. That's right. right. Speaking of which, who, who can attend a Marine Max getaway? That's a question that I get a lot. Um, you know, I I exactly who are the getaways for? Our Marine Max customers. So it's one of the many perks of buying a boat, you know, it's, you're, you're selling a lifestyle. I mean, you, you can get out of it exactly what you want, Keith. I'm sure you go over it all the time. I mean, go ahead, take your boat, see your, see your keys, see your boat, see you later. Or you can take advantage of exactly everything at your disposal, which I think I think is well worth taking advantage of to get the most out of your boat. We've got all the resources in the world here, you know. Nobody else can do what we do. Some other questions here. Carla what do you pack for a getaway right like like what does marine max do and what do you need to like what what well before we go on and depending what kind of getaway it is um we always like to have our our captain's meetings a briefing before we go out on these getaways and in that uh, is a, a little fun package that'll have a list of items of what to pack um, from anything between uh, your spare parts that you may want to bring uh, to your Coast Guard ready kit, to your margarita blender, or any themes that we may have. Just depends on what kind of event they will be attending. They'll know the theme. Um, we're, we're good about informing our customers uh, as to what to expect for specific getaways that will be taking place. Um, and that's that's another kudos to Marie Max on, on how well they do it. Just uh, knowledge is power and empowering our customers with that knowledge. Great. So I know that like a lot of times people, one thing I've noticed too on these getaways, like people that go to Caladisi or, or whatnot and they're staying on their boats, they kind of learn how to pre-cook or pre-package foods to where, I mean, you learn from your neighbor, right? You know, so you're out there trying to do something and then it's like, man, how'd you do that so quick? I mean, stuff's already been taken care of ahead of time, you know? I mean, you, you pick up all kinds of different tips and tricks. 
Yeah. Plus, I mean, every every getaway is a little different too. So, but you know, you, you mentioned before, you know, with with you putting on that recent getaway with everybody getting their own little goodie bags with their grills and stuff like that and the wine and stuff. I think that's neat. A little DIY package, you know, we we customize it to where we're going and what we're doing. Yeah. So we talked about all these feelings that you get when you know when you're talking about getaways and what what is the number one I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a little curveball at you, Carla. What's the number one memory that comes to mind when you think of your career throughout the getaways planning? Oof, just honestly being out on the water. It's it's I was very blessed and fortunate to grow up in the industry. Um, my dad's a naval architect and and everybody in my family has boats um, and very fortunate to to live that lifestyle. And the fact that I'm in the industry now and being able to share that with our customers, introducing them to that boating lifestyle. And it's it's that water gene, like I said, I'll, I'll tell you, it's 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 a good driver. <laughs> but um, just just seeing, you know, I had a dad come up to me, a mom and dad come up to me once in one of our getaways and just in the end of the getaway, they said, thank you. Thank you for helping create a platform. We haven't bonded with our son like that in years, in years. And it took a getaway to bring a mom and dad and son close. I mean, I get, I get the chills just thinking about it now and to be able to help facilitate that that's pretty priceless right there yeah that's what it's all about it's awesome yeah got got it's brian draft there brian thanks for joining in asking questions every week we appreciate you explain white day so i'm assuming he's talking about the white party that's on a lot of trips oh yes yes we uh again with our themes um Everybody dresses up in white and it's uh, uh, a white night. And sometimes, you know, we'll, we'll bust out some glow sticks and everybody's themed with their, with their white apparel. Um, but it's, it's part of the festivities. The, another event that we had, um, it was music throughout the ages. So we had one family dress up like Kiss, literally full mask, the hair, the boots that were this tall. <laughs> and uh, it was just fantastic. And and uh, just creating themes and, and fun festivities. It's, uh, it's what it's about right there. Yeah. Absolutely. For sure. I, I had a lot of fun at the white party down in Captiva last year. It's they, they did a tent and it was it was a good time. Keith, looks like you got a question over here from Dr. Ang. Dr. Ang, he's going on the trip. I uh, will be there Friday. Um, so um, if you want to come up early Friday morning or whatnot and get an extra day in, you know, come on up. We'll be up there on, you know, Friday afternoon. I got a question yeah. for you, Keith. I know, I know you like to, you like to cook, correct? Yeah. On oh, my... I, I like to eat and I got stomped today. Um, what is your go-to recipe for scallops? Like you, you go up and you get a whole mess of them. What do you do with them? Leave them in the shell. So, you know, you'll clean it. You get rid of the, the bottom shell. And then leave the, the scallop meat attached to the white, to the cleaner of the shells, right? Clean that all out. Get a whole mess of them. Get a grill nice and hot. Put some butter, some garlic, some Parmesan cheese in there, maybe a little paprika or something, and just make little boats out of all those little scallop shells, all that butter in there. Put them on the grill, close the lid, let them get. It only takes like three or four minutes, and you're going to hear them, the, the muscle's going to release off the shell, and it sounds like popcorn popping off inside the grill. And you open that thing up, and they've, they're loose off the shell. They're just laying in there. And all that butter's melted, and you got the garlic and the Parmesan cheese, and it's just, it's incredible. It's way good. That sounds and like Kathy it. makes a hell of a ceviche, too, out of the, the scallops. So 
that was a that's another one there. So there's some good recipes in our Marine Max Lifestyle magazine. Now that you're talking about all this foodie stuff, <laughs> <laughs> or just eat them raw. You're out there catch them, pop it in your mouth right there, right out of the water. There you go. <laughs> Got another question for you here, Carla. What exactly is a docktails party? So, you know, obviously right now with everything going on, docktails might look a little bit different. But generally speaking, what's what's a docktail party look like on one of these trips? Docktails. Well, you got to have the dock. You got to have the boat to get to the dock, right? <laughs> and uh, and our customers, having our customers just envision a beautiful dock, beautiful yachts and boats, awesome people coming together with some cocktails, some appetizers, some music, beautiful boats again, and having a good time. Um, sometimes we would do like um, a, a yacht hop, if you will, and back to my themes, um, everybody would pick uh, themes uh, such as around the world. So you go to boat number one and their theme is Japan. So they have all this sushi and, and sake. And then you go to boat number two where it's USA. So you got little um, hot dogs and little burgers and little beers and on and on. You're catching on to the theme here, but uh, go around the world, uh, yacht hopping throughout the dock um and just enjoy being together great food great company beautiful boats and great music that's the docktail party i'll, I'll tell you what I was, Sign me up. I was talking with some of my customers the other day and and we were just talking about the docktail party which you know for the cool rendezvous it's on the first night you know everybody docks up and it's there you know you're running a boat all day you get there we talked about the different beers or different white claws. Okay, different beers. You've got the front porch beer. You've got the tailgate beer. You've got the football game beer. But nothing compares to the dock beer after you tie up the boat. I think that's the best part of the That's right. And every owner will agree with you on that one, I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, that, that's my two cents. <laughs> that's fantastic. That should be a shirt. <laughs> There's a new Kenny Chesney song in there somewhere. That's right. <laughs> Giving them all this good content. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, let's see what else. What else we got here, Keith? Faro Blanc Blanco. Is it Faro Blanco or Faro Blanco? Uh, well, in Spanish, Faro Blanco, which is white lighthouse. Everybody okay. always talks about that. What's that? I'm sorry. You guys do a getaway there. Yeah, that's where we recently had a getaway done. Yeah. I've, I've heard a lot about that one. Is that kind of tied into the, is that in the Keys or where is that? That is in the Keys. That is in the Keys. And that's um, that getaway that I was uh, referencing where everybody got their little grills. And then we went out to Sombrero Reef and um, had a great time there. Yeah. It's in Marathon. It's in Marathon, Nick, on the Gulf side. So uh, like, our, like our Keys. The getaway we had here. They were down in Key West. Then they went up to Faro Blanco for a few days and then back up to South Seas and back up. But it's just a good good spot to go. You know, you get out of Key West and go there to Faro Blanco and you got Sombrero Reef, which is absolutely beautiful. You know, snorkeling or diving, whatever you want to do there. Yeah. Where's your favorite spot, Nick? Oh, South Seas. I love South Seas. I'll say it. I mean, I, you know, Keith and I say, if we're going to give a shout out on here, it better be worth it. I love South Seas. I love everything about it in Captiva. They, they do a great job between the resort, you know, between the pool and stuff like that. The beach is awesome. And the marina has just got the best vibe in the world as far as, you know, you got Marine Max customers, Dock Master right there, which treats us awesome always. And just all the boats that you can see, you know, from, you know, our location, other stuff like that. Last time I was down there, I wasn't even down there on a getaway. And... And I went down there and I saw, you know, a couple other sea rays and stuff like that, like some 550 dancers. And, you know, we just started talking and stuff. Oh, who's your, who's your, uh, who's your sales guy or whatever. We start talking about that. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. My, you know, I used to work with his dad and stuff like that, but I, I have a great time at South Seas Resort. I just, I, I wish it wasn't so far from St. Pete, but you know, it's, 
it, it's worth the trip. Great place. Yeah. How about, what about you, Keith? Probably the same thing. I mean, I, any of them all up and down the, the coast. I mean, I love Longboat. Nick says it's just like for us, it's a short, easy, you know, jaunt down there. Um, South Seas, you get on down into Marco, you know, there's places down in there, you know, Naples, you can, you know, walk into downtown. Um, there's just so much to do, you know, up and down this West Coast. A um, little bit different, you know, than the East Coast, you know, we're just so shallow over here, you know, as far as you guys, you know, running over to the Bahamas all the time. But, um, you know, we got to, you know, make it a two or three day trip to get over there from here. Yeah. The question is Orlando still doing a lobster trip? Which hotel? Hmm. I do not know. We'll have to check, check back with you on that. Well, cool. Good stuff. Well, well, Carla, I, I appreciate everything you do, you know, as far as Marine Max, you know, everybody is united by water, especially right now. Every, everything's strange. Everything's up in the air, but when, when you get out in the water and you're, you're just exactly what it is, it's that vessel of freedom. And, you know, to be able to get away is something very special. So, so you guys all do such a great job. Marine Max takes getaways, as I'm sure everybody knows, very seriously. And, you know, that kind of all comes, comes full circle to, you know, getting the most out of your boat. So it's, you know, wherever you're at to, you know, whether you're up, up in New England, East Coast, Florida, West Coast, of Florida, in the Carolinas, there, there's somebody special for you right there. You can find it on marinemax.com, all of our lists of events. Obviously, some of it might be ever-changing. So if you're over if you're over on the east coast of Florida, give Carla a call and and see exactly what, what we have in store. So I'm sure you guys have some other exciting things up your sleeve. Thank you. It's a pleasure, a pleasure. So th thanks for joining thanks, with Carla. Thanks for joining us, and who knows, maybe I'll – Maybe I'll finally make it over there for Lobster Bash someday. That'd be nice. I'd like to do that. We'll be waiting for you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Right. So, so what do you think sold more boats for us, Nick? Getaways or dolphins? Uh, well, <laughs> I mean, I know, I know you, you, you've got them on speed dial for some reason. It seems like every time I hop on Facebook or Instagram, I see another dolphin in the wake of a Captain Keith Lake video. I think we got him pretty much trained out here. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, how, how's Instagram going for you, man? You addicted yet? Uh, I'm getting there. Still, still learning it. So Mallory's working with me through it a little bit, but I guess you know they changed some functions or features around on there too. That you know we'll get there. Any cool deliveries lately? Anything special? Anything new? Got uh, another 42 outrage coming up. That's the post on Instagram this morning. I picked up a 37 outrage. That's actually a trade coming in here today. So that's the boat I was running this morning. And uh, so uh, he traded the 37 in on a 42 outrage. So looking forward to getting that boat out of here on the uh, water. You guys have sold quite a few 42 outrages lately. But it's... You know, I got 30 something thousand square foot of showroom here. I mean, you, you've seen it. You know what it's like. So, but boats are coming in. I see transports out here and stuff. So, they're, we're offloading boats and getting them unwrapped and, and uh, prepped and, and delivered as quick as we can. Yeah. They're, 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 they're kind of trickling in and stuff like that. But it, uh, man, that, that 42 outrage, I've ran that boat with the 400s on it. That one's pretty loaded. Yeah. Hey, we got Anthony Armeo on here. He says, Keith, bring your fishing rods next time. So Anthony is with the Marine Max fishing team or started that up over there on the East Coast. And he's actually going to be our guest next week or call him a guest. I don't know. He's going to be joining us. And uh, we're going to be talking about some uh, offshore fishing next week. I know. Who's going to ask all the questions if he's on here with us? Probably him. <laughs> He'll try to stump us, right? We're going to have somebody to ask us questions. Nah, man, for sure. I mean, any of you guys watching this right now, tune in next week. Uh, Anthony's a wealth of knowledge. Uh, he's got that 38 outrage over there, and it's loaded up full of Raymarine product. Um, so whether you want to know anything about Whaler, Raymarines, flying drones with it, you know, fishing, the outriggers, downriggers, 
you know, the 3D scan, all that kind of stuff, he's going to be able to answer your questions. Yeah, I think I think that will be able to have a lot of great knowledge and stuff on uh, ne next next week's episode. I'm looking forward to it. I like fish and stuff like that. Oh, here we go. Keith, I know what I wanted to tell you. I wanted to tell you this when we first got on today. I saw that 32 RBR that you delivered last month, was it? The, the boat with the Ilmores? Yeah. I saw it cruising down south, right by, right by Anna Maria Channel. Yep. Just as I just as I was northbound. Let me tell you, that boat looks good on the water. It does. That boat looks real good on the water from yep. the boat. I've got we've got a really good looking one here in the showroom right now too, um, that is available. But uh, yeah, those are great running boats. Uh, yeah, and, and you and you can tell it's an RBR from from two miles away. I knew it was that boat, you know, between the hard top and the bow and everything. I mean, I I saw him like that. That's sort of was it, was he a wide open throttle? No, he was idling. He was oh, idling. Yeah, was okay. well, well, there's two speeds with the <laughs> way they drive that boat. So, yeah, what are you gonna do? Life's yeah. too slow. Life's life's too short to go slow. Yep. So. Well, good stuff, Keith. Well, I'm looking forward to next week. As always, I had a bunch of fun today, so I appreciate yeah. you joining me. Appreciate uh, appreciate Carla for joining too. And uh, we're having fun. We're doing it. We're still here. We're still delivering a boating dream. And we're not going anywhere. Like you said, we crushed the over under. <laughs> so we did. Yeah, we're we're still here. So Keith, what do you say, man? Sign us off. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to check us out on marinemax.com, on Instagram, Facebook, and uh, what else? I guess we've got Twitter, too. So uh, thanks a lot. What's that? YouTube. YouTube. YouTube, too. Yeah. You Bye, guys. guys.